Doug Hill, thanks for taking the time. Here we are. Men's soccer about to start. You'll go on the road to start the season this year, but you've had a couple of exhibition games. Let me ask you, you lost seven starters from last year. How's the team shaping up? You know, it's a little different, but it's the same because I don't think we're rebuilding. I think we're just restocking the shelves. Those guys have been sitting, watching, waiting, chomping at the bit, ready to get on the pitch. And we have another good group of seniors, believe it or not. I think a good trademark of our team is when we have eight or nine seniors. This year, we have eight or nine seniors. You'll see eight or nine on the field, which is a good thing. Do they have the playing experience that the previous players had? No, because guys like London and, you know, all the seniors that from last year, you know, Chavez, all developed through the system just like these players are. So these guys are excited to play. These guys have never been the Army who we're going to open up against. And so it's the first time playing an inner service game away at Army. So I think the spirits will be high, the, the intensity, the attitude effort's always there, every training session, every game. But, uh, I mean, they're excited. Yeah. Obviously, the Mountain or the uh, Western Athletic Conference obviously has holds you in high regard because they still picked you third, even though you lost that many players. What does that say about men's soccer at Air Force? No, I think it makes a statement, and I think it's deserved. But, yeah, I think we have to prove that also. Yeah. You know, when you lose seven players that were starting, um, we have three main holes. The only guy that's kind of here is Thad doing, you know, Luke. And we have Kobe Stout. Those are your main three starters. But the rest were they're new suiting up. But they're not new because they were getting time. They just didn't get as much time. But uh, I think it speaks well for the program. But uh, I don't think they look how you did last year. And they did, they're not really looking at who's on your roster. But once they see it, we're a little newer. But we're a little different. And I think we can play. Uh, we're good ball handlers. I think we move the ball well. And I think you'll be excited to see us play. We're not going to get our foot off the pedal. We're going to still play that aggressive soccer and try to pin them up high and see if we can uh, counterattack and uh, play a fast piece, pace game. You've always had star players. Another one this year has already been looked at by the WAC, uh, the WAC preseason offensive player of the year at that doing. Does, is that going to put too much weight on him as you go into this season? No, I hope not. You know, he's a competitor, which he'll bring the uh, fight to the game every time he steps on the pitch. He's one of our captains. It's him, Federico Mion, and Luke Hill. They all do a good job, they get together. But the intensity and in, in, in training, he brings it and um, goal scorers score. And that's what he did last year. I think that's why he got that accolade, which is well-deserved. Um, they, they have to be aware of him and they have to mark him. Does it put a target on his back? Sure. They're gonna say, hey, you're, he's the offensive player, yeah, you gotta mark him. But there's other guys, it's, it's scoring by committee. We don't just rely on one guy. Uh, it does get spread out. Last year he was our high scorer. I hope he's our high scorer again. But uh, there's other players that can score, and we have good shooters on the team. So congrats to Thad for getting that award. I think it's well-deserved, and uh, I think he'll take it as a uh, mark that he has to hold that high standard. Yeah, for sure. Army, you can't start. <laughs> can you start with a bigger opponent, Army, and then Seton Hall after that? Talk to me about what you've told this team. You mentioned before that not a lot of these guys, I don't think any of them have been to Army. No, Army or Seton Hall. Uh, Army, you know, last time we played them, like I said, it was 2019. Uh, we missed the COVID years, and then we couldn't get them back on the schedule. So we're starting that series again, home and away. We'll be out there this year. They'll be back the following year. And then after that game, you know, that game, we got to make sure we concentrate on playing the game and not just winning the battle. Sure. Um, it's putting the ball in the net. It's joining. It's playing soccer. And if we keep that peace in mind, I think we're going to be okay. Um, and then we turn around and we go play Seton Hall. And I don't know if you remember it, in the 21 season, we played Seton Hall in the second round of the NCAA playoffs. It was our first game. It was uh, their first game. And uh, they had a, a lot of good players and a little older, mature, some foreigners that are, are very good players. And so we'll travel down to Seton Hall and get another great game in. And then we head back. And the thing I like about this season is we have nine home games. We've been on the road the last two years, so we have nine home games and only eight away. So I think uh, obviously one objective is win at home and steal some on the road and get some wins on the road too. So excited about the trip, and we'll be back the following weekend. And following that weekend, after we play um, Western Michigan and Sacramento State, uh, we have our, we're have we going to recognize the 93 team for a 30-year uh, reunion. They went to the Elite Eight. So it's going to be a ring ceremony, and uh, it's going to be a, an exciting game because Central Arkansas, who we lost the last year, we play them. We have them on our schedule. That'll be on the uh, Friday night on the 8th of September. So 
a lot of exciting things coming up, and we're ready to get this season started. Yeah, it should be a blast. Doug Hill, thanks for the time. Good luck at Army. Thanks, Brian.